Hey guys and welcome to Gorn and Kilkenny for the National Intermediate Cross Country. This one we have the men's race and what a race we had in the men's. Small enough field again but an absolutely super race. Hope you're enjoying the coverage on the channel guys. Really appreciate it if you'd like, share and most importantly subscribe to the channel. That's what keeps me motivated to keep doing these things and I see people subscribing to the channel that's what gets me out there to cover these races for you guys. So sit back and enjoy this. We still had a big pack early doors in this race. Not like all the other races today where somebody struck out from the start and absolutely dominated the race. We had Niall Carberry from Conle Harriers leading the pack here. Probably about 2k into the race here. So things still nip and tuck at this stage. Then Noel started to push on and stretch out that leading pack. As you can see here, they're still pretty much together, but they're starting to string out now with him pushing the pace on. So as we got into the race, it looked like the Clonliffe man was going to do what had happened in all the other races today and be a procession he was putting in a big gap between himself and the chasers and he looked good uh, looked strong looked smooth and looked like it could have been another foregone conclusion but things were to change and change dramatically and the 10 euro cover charge today from AI was well worth it to see this race Carberry kept pushing on, maintaining that gap. A couple of K into the race at this stage. The main chasers then were Pat Hennessy from West Waterford, Vinnie Connolly from Mullingar Harriers, and then Luke Dinsmore from all the way from Ulster and Adele Striders. The Clonliff man was still looking pretty good at this stage, but as you can see in the background there, Vinnie Connolly from Mullingar Harriers was starting to make inroads into his lead. He was starting to get closer and closer. And he was dragging the other two guys along with him. He also had Oshin Murray from Unreot in the mix at this stage as well. You can see here as Carberry came up this small hill, you could see the legs nearly were gone at this, this stage. He was really starting to struggle getting up there. You could see Vinny really pushing on and driving on. He could smell blood at this stage. And as I said, he was dragging the guys behind him along with him as well. So it was all change at the business end of the race as they came back into the big field again. Vinnie Connolly, Mullingar Harriers, striding away, clear lead, looking really good, looking strong, well ahead of the two guys in second and third, Dinsmore and Hennessy. Murray and Carberry then were being left behind as the battle for the top three is going to conclude. The race is really hotting up now. Vinnie still looking good, still with a good gap. Hennessy then looking good in second. At this stage of the race, my money was on Hennessy. Knowing him from his track running, I knew he'd have a good finish in him. But it was really interesting to see how the race transpired. Here. As it turned out, Dinsmore was stalking his prey all day and eventually came through in the last lap strongly to take it very well in the end. Well clear of his competitors, able to enjoy the finish issue with no pressure at all on his shoulders. Then we had Vinnie Connolly from uh, 
Mullingar Harriers held on for second. Hennessy in close quarters, but not close enough to be able to put enough pressure on him in the end. Well done to everyone today who ran. Congratulations to the three guys who came first, second, and third. It was an absolutely fantastic race to watch. Really enjoyable. And like I said, well worth the 10 euro I had to pay AI to get in today. So if you're enjoying what you're seeing on the channel, guys, and you want to see more, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to help drive the popularity of the channel. Thanks very much, guys. Take care, and we'll see you at the next one. That's it, Sean!